across from the Republic of Ireland into Northern Ireland and you might not even notice. The only change is the slightly different road markings and tarmac. But as Brexit looms, there's talk of installing checks along this 500 kilometre border. And residents here, in an area called the Dramulli Polyp, are worried. Known locally as the island, this patch of the Republic extends into the north through a narrow corridor. The winding border cuts through roads, houses and businesses, like this petrol station, which accepts both pounds and euros. For owner Eamon Fitzpatrick, the lack of border controls is key. There's times I could cross the border maybe 20, 25 times a day, uh, depending on what roads and that I'm going. Many locals are frustrated with London and Dublin politicians who they feel have little understanding of their lives. They don't really know what the border is. I mean, they just think it's a road and there's a, a crossing. Like it's, it's a whole different scenario when you're on the ground. Those who are old enough recall the troubles when armed groups fought the British to try to unite North and South and the border was militarised. Local Sinn Féin councillor Pat Trainer lost a finger at the height of the tensions. He thinks if Brexit brings back border checks, his party could get a new wave of support for its aim of reuniting Ireland. The debate around Brexit is bringing a focus back onto that illogical and, and unnatural lane that they've put through our country. Uh, Sinn Féin do want to see and have been working for and are working for Irish unity and independence. Uh, the focus on partition uh, uh, helps that debate. So as Brexit negotiations continue, this little corner of Ireland has a very large stake in its outcome.